In this video, we're going to talk about uh, how to use a typography effectively in Sketch. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over here and start uh, typing uh, some text. So I'm just going to write the headline and uh, I'm going to select uh, a random font. Let's uh, search for Helvetica. So as you can see, as I'm searching uh, uh, directly from here, I write in the text panel. Um, I can see a few options and uh, I can either go up or down with uh, the keyboard arrows or I can simply select uh, the font uh, directly and as you can see the font uh, has been applied. Now as the, at the moment it's very small so one thing that I want to do is I want to increase uh, the pixel size so I'm gonna go over here on this section and uh, I'm going to use uh, the up arrow in order to increase uh, the font size. I can also click uh, and hold shift at the same time in order to work with increments of 10. So this is going to, to speed up uh, the process. And uh, as you can see, if you want to improve uh, and uh, change uh, any typography elements, you're going to do it uh, directly here in this section, which is uh, the typography area. So here is the font family, which we already saw just a moment ago. And uh, if I want to change uh, the weight, uh, I can go over here and select light. Uh, I can go over here, select regular. As, as you can see, the weight of the font uh, uh, changes. Now you can try any any font out there. This one has some uh, uh, specific uh, also decoration fonts and whatnot, uh, but uh, this is totally fine. So let's go over here and also experiment with uh, the character section. And uh, the character is basically like once we increase uh, and uh, the amount, uh, you can see that the distance between one character and the other is going to be increased. And this is uh, really cool if uh, we want to, uh, for example, create uh, some uh, specific effects. Uh, so, you know, um, th these are going to be like uh, uh, UI elements, which you should see often, you know, all caps and uh, uh, bigger spacing and things like that. So definitely something that uh, um, you, you can uh, use and leverage. And uh, let's go over here and let's just make uh, the character spacing zero. And I'm going to duplicate uh, this text uh, and I'm going to make it smaller in order to create uh, a paragraph uh, right below it. And uh, I want to introduce you to this uh, website, which is called lipsum.com. And basically it's uh, a website with uh, a whole bunch of uh, filler text. So I'm just going to, going to copy and uh, paste it directly over here in uh, the smaller text which we just created. And as you can see, we have uh, a long line uh, which has been created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this text uh, and uh, at the very right border, I'm going to simply make it uh, smaller so that it's going to be contained uh, in uh, this area we're working with. Now, at the moment, the height between one line and the other is uh, not uh, very, very big. So if we want to increase the line height, we can go here on the line and uh, we can simply uh, increase the amount of the spacing. We can also decrease it and it can go all the way up to, to a negative, uh, uh, all the way up to zero. And uh, as you can see, this is going to give us uh, um, options when it comes to, uh, to this specific uh, thing. Um, we can also change the uh, distance between uh, one paragraph and the other. So for example, we're, we're having uh, something around these lines. Um, I can increase uh, the distance between uh, the just the paragraphs, but not the lines. So if I decrease the line, you can see clearly how the only this uh, distance has been affected if we actually increase uh, or decrease uh, the paragraph section. And uh, another cool thing about uh, the typography in Figma is that uh, you can have a different type of alignments. 
So if, for example, we select the resize the text layer horizontally to fit text, you can see that uh, the horizontal spacing is going to take up all of the space needed in order to fully show this text. And um, if you actually go ahead here and we wrap text to width and height of the text, you can see that we're back to the uh, to what we were doing originally and we can just move this one down in order to to see it fully and um, Sometimes this is going to be really useful um, Or actually the other option is going to be really useful because let's say that we're working with uh, uh, something like a label and uh, this uh, um, element is, is just uh, to the, the, con the constraint box uh, is too small. We can simply click here and we don't have to manually adjust uh, each and every time we need some extra space uh, in the width. So definitely something to consider. There are also some shortcuts which are pretty cool. Command plus B is going to make the text uh, bold and uh, I is going to create uh, a italic. Um, some uh, fonts have this option, other ones don't. We also have command plus U, which is going to essentially uh, use the underline and uh, so on. So this is definitely something to keep in mind. And uh, let's go over here and uh, let's talk about the different alignments because by default, each and every uh, text is going to have a horizontal alignment usually, but you can always uh, center align it, right align it, and also justify it. So with the justification, you can see that it's going to take more uh, space uh, and that the spacing is going to be adapted according to the, um, to fit the width so that we don't have any um, elements which are not going to, uh, to fit perfectly on uh, the edges. So that's that. Uh, we can also set the vertical alignment uh, of a fixed text layer so that it's going to be vertical aligned in this uh, text box. We can also do the same with uh, the bottom alignment. So basically it's going to be aligned on uh, the bottom x-axis of this container. Now let's reset this one to the original and uh, as you can see here we can create, uh, we can use the underline, we can use the stroke for the strike through and um, these are some of the options that we also previously saw in the, the keyboard shortcuts. We can also use uh, uppercase character so basically this is going to turn all of our text in uppercase. And uh, we can also do the same uh, using the lowercase. So all of our text uh, is going to be lowercase and we won't have uh, any uppercase uh, characters. So this is pretty much it uh, when it comes to the <clears throat> text options. And uh, by the way, as you saw over here, if you didn't see these text options right here, you can simply click uh, on the top right, adjust text options, you can always uh, compress this section or expand it and uh, yeah this is uh, definitely something which uh, is going to be really useful and uh, just a small bonus before I, I leave this uh, uh, video is uh, I'm going to suggest you to check out uh, Google Web Fonts because if you're working on uh, web projects or web apps and uh, projects of that nature. Um, usually Google Web Fonts have uh, quite a bit uh, of uh, variety and uh, they are all free. They load uh, really fast. They're very, very easy to integrate from the development point of view. So usually these are fonts which uh, uh, you, you are going to, to see a lot of uh, designers and agencies uh, uh, using. So something to keep in mind, because if we go over here, download family, double click on the files which you just downloaded and uh, you're going to, to have them. However, that being said, there are many fonts uh, out there, uh, both uh, free and uh, premium fonts, uh, uh, premium paid fonts, uh, and, and uh, really the choice is uh, really, really big. So um, definitely something to consider. So this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.